Well, it's just about time for the Mule Train News Program on this Friday, June the 30th, 2023. Brought to you today by Liao's Mexican Restaurant. A memorial service with military honors for Rod Springfield. 80 of May, Texas, formerly a mule shoe, will be held 11 o'clock Saturday morning, July the 1st, in the Pleasant Grove Baptist Church. Rod died on Tuesday, June the 27th, surrounded by his family. Roderick Lloyd Rod Springfield was born October the 23rd, 1942, to Bessie Peeler and Burl Springfield in Lubbock. Rod joined the U.S. Army on October the 30th, 1959, and worked in the Signal Corps as a lineman and attained the rank of Private First Class E3. Rod married Jan Springfield on March the 30th, 1973, after the Army, Rod worked odd jobs leading him to Muleshoe, where he went to work for Wilson Appliance for approximately 10 years, and then worked for Five Area Telephone Cooperative for 32 years. Rod also opened Rod's Lock Shop and served the Muleshoe area for 10 years before moving to Lake Brownwood in 2004. He continued to operate his Lock Shop until he retired in 2022. Rod is survived by his wife of 50 years, Jan Springfield, a daughter, Crystal England, and her husband, Robert, another daughter, Shannon Stewart, and her husband, Richard, a son, Stacy Springfield, and wife, Kim, and son, Scott Springfield, and his wife, Sabrina. Fifteen grandchildren and 12 great-grandchildren all survive him. Two sisters, Donna uh, Tomlinson and her husband, Mike and Darlene Hamrick and her husband Fred and numerous nieces and nephews. He was preceded in death by his parents, Bessie and O.T. Reeder and Burl Springfield, a twin sister, Robbie Miller, sisters Jenny Springfield and Linda Cummings, brothers Jerry Springfield and Wayne Reeder. Over the 50 years of marriage, his extended family of in-laws will remember him with great love and affection. Rod will be remembered for his hard work ethic, which he instilled in his children, in his loyalty to friends and family. Condolences, memorials, and tributes can be offered to the Springfield family at heartlandfuneralhome.com. And repeating, a memorial service with military honors for Rod Springfield, 80 of May, Texas, formerly a mule shoe, will be held 11 a.m. Saturday morning, July the 1st, in the Pleasant Grove Baptist Church. Please keep the Springfield family on your prayer list today. A church service for Michael Mar or Martin Martinez, excuse me, 47 of Mule Shoe was held Saturday, June the 10th at the Immaculate Conception Catholic Church with Fa Father Herberto Mercado officiating burial followed in the Mule Shoe Memorial Park. Martin died Wednesday, June 7th in Mule Shoe. He was born March the 2nd, 1976 in Monterey, Mexico to Martin and Emilia Garcia Martinez. He married Guadalupe Ramirez in Mule Shoe on February the 14th, 2016. Martin loved to work. He was an avid fan of the Dallas Cowboys and the Tigres football. He enjoyed cooking charro beans and loved his pan and cafe. Martin loved music and especially Norteño music. He was a jokester and a friend to everyone. Martin was a humble man and is preceded in death by his mother. Martin is survived by his wife, Guadalupe, two sons, Juan Esteban Martinez Mendoza of Sinton, Texas, Yontana Martinez of Sinton as well, his daughter, Yagiria Guadalupe Martinez of Sinton, his father, Martin Martinez, his brother, Miguel Martinez of Monterey, Mexico, a granddaughter, Delenia Madeline Martinez, his mother-in-law, Jovita Ramirez, Two sisters-in-law, Lorena um, Ramirez and Teresa Arzabeth Ramirez. His eight brothers-in-law, Osvaldo Ramirez, Elazar Ramirez, Wilfredo Ramirez, Horatio Ramirez, Ruben Alejandro Ramirez, Benjamin Ramirez, Octavio Ramirez, and Jorge Luis Ramirez. And repeating church service for Martin Martinez, 47 and Mil, she was held earlier in the month on June the 10th at the Immaculate Conception Catholic Church with burial following in the Mulesche Memorial Park. Please keep the Martinez family on your prayer list today. 
Michael G. Smith, 62, of Mule Shoe, died Thursday, June 22nd in Lubbock. He was born April 20th, 1961 in Lamisa to Alan Ray and Teresa Starkey Smith. He married Deborah Pugh in Earth, June 23rd, 1987. Michael served in the U.S. Navy as a cook. He loved to cook, grill, and bake. He was known for his menudo and pozole. Michael rode bulls and enjoyed country music. He liked to explore his Cajun heritage from Louisiana. He is preceded in death by his son, Zachary Blake Smith, and his parents. Michael survived by his three sons, Michael Allen Smith of Odessa, Christopher Guy Smith of Clovis, and Brenton Shane Smith of Muleshoe, uh, and his five grandchildren, Layla, Michaela, Mercedes, Madison, and Ariel. The family suggests memorials be sent to St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital, 262 Danny Thomas Place, Memphis, Tennessee, 38105, or the American Heart Association, 2514 82nd Street, Suite B, Lubbock, Texas, 79423. No services are scheduled at this time. And please keep the family of Michael G. Smith, 62, of Muleshoe, on your prayer list today. He died Thursday, June the 22nd in Lubbock. Carol, the keep on your prayer list today as well. The family of Carol A. Ellis, 86, of Freona. She died Monday, June the 12th in Lubbock. Her services were held um, at the First Baptist Church in Freona earlier in the month on Friday, June 16th, and was buried here in Muleshoe at the Bailey County Cemetery on uh, Friday, June the 16th at 9 a.m. earlier this month. Carol was born May the 19th, 1937 in Little Rock, Arkansas. Her parents were Frank and Ethel Shipley Stone. She married Billy L. Ellis in Lubbock on December the 20th, 1958. Carol worked side by side with her husband, Bill Ellis in publishing the Freona Star and the Bovina Blade for over 40 years as co-owners. They also worked together to publish Freona on Parade for the Freona Centennial in 2006. Carol was a founding member of the community Santa Fe Depot Heritage Society in Freona, which was instrumental in getting the depot moved to the city park in 1987. She was a member of many organizations, including Friends of the Library and Pens to, and Pages Writers Organization. Carol was also a member of the Modern Study Club and Art Associations in Freona, Muleshoe, and Canyon. She was voted Woman of the Year in Freona in 2012 and was inducted in the Panhandle Press Association Hall of Fame in 2004. Carol and Bill published an Ellis Family genealogy newsletter for 20 years. She was a member of the First Baptist Church in Freona, where she also sang in the choir. She is preceded in death by her husband, Bill, a son, Richard, and her parents. Carol survived by two sisters, Merlene Rayburn of Murchison, Texas, Sheila Ellis and her husband Jim of Sherwood, Arkansas, her son Stan Ellis of Lubbock, her daughter Laura Ellis of Lubbock, and her daughter-in-law Leanna Ellis of Lincolnwood, Illinois. Her three grandchildren survivor as well, Madeline Garcia of Lubbock, Clara Garcia of Austin, and Layla Ellis of Lincolnwood, Illinois. She is survived by a great-grandson, Murphy Garcia of Lubbock. The family suggests morals, memorials be sent to the Community Heritage Society, to the Community Heritage Society, 700 Main Street, Friona, Texas, 79035. Please keep the family of Carol A. Ellis on your prayer list today. Well, it's time now for the weather forecast here for the Muleshoe area, and we need a sponsor for this program. So if you, your business, your uh nonprofit, your organization, your church wants to sponsor our weather forecast, please call me on my cell phone at 806 566 5881. Well, you can have an ad here in the weather forecast along the front page of our website, MuleshoeTV.com, along with shares on our social media platforms like Facebook, Twitter, and our YouTube channel. Well, we have had had a very moderate spring and summer with nice, uh, cooler temperatures than average. 
Beach and lots of rain in May and the 1st of June. But all that changes. We really haven't had much rain since the first week of June. And this past week, it got hot very hot. In fact, on Monday, the high temperature here at the Muleshoe Mesonet Station, two miles south of town, was 99, the low was 64. The Earth Mesonet Station, the high was 99, and the low was 63. But then on Tuesday, the Earth Mesonet got our highest reading of the year so far at 108 degrees and 69 was the low and, and if you don't know that earth mesonet station is in a field right next to Tolk plant the muleshoe mesonet station two miles south of town hit 107 on tuesday uh, earlier in the week and the low was 70 wednesday june the 28th we got to 105 in both the muleshoe and earth mesonet stations and then yesterday a little bit cooler as the muleshoe mesonet station got to 100 and the earth mesonet got to 101 we're much much cooler today and cloudy uh conditions outside right now at two o'clock it is 82 degrees only now we're ending the month Month of June, but it looks like we might tack on a little bit more rain. But so far, as of two o'clock this afternoon, the Muleshoe Mesonet on the month of June has an inch and six tenths. The Earth Mesonet has an inch and twenty six one hundredths. And right here in our backyard, the National Weather Service station at Channel Six has an inch and ninety eight one hundredths for the month of June. Now our yearly total 2023 through two o'clock is eight inches and 56 one hundredths at the Muleshoe Mesonet and the Earth Mesonet has eight inches and a tenth. Our June average high temperature so far through uh, the last day of the month is 88. The average low temperature is has been 56 degrees. But our chances of rain come back into effect. So let's hope, keep your fingers crossed, and keep rain on your prayer list as we have some rain chances going forward here over the weekend. Showers and thunderstorms likely this afternoon for the Muleshoe area, mainly after 5 p.m., some of the storms could be severe and produce heavy rainfall. Cloudy conditions with a high, only about 89 they're calling for. We're only at 82 as of 2 p.m. South winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Chance of rain is 60%. Then tonight, a chance of showers and thunderstorms again, mainly before 9 p.m. So they're saying our rain chances are between 5 and 9 p.m. this evening. Then a slight chance of rain after 5 a.m. tomorrow morning. Some of the storms could be severe and produce heavy rainfall. Mostly cloudy, low around 62. East-southeast winds 10 to 15 miles per hour, becoming northeast after midnight. Tomorrow on Saturday for our weekend, a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms before 8 a.m. Then a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms after 2 p.m. in the afternoon. Partly sunny, high, only around 85 degrees. Boy, we'll take that. Northeast winds, 5 to 10 miles per hour, becoming east-southeast in the afternoon hours. Chance of precipitation during the day. Saturday is only 20%. Then a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms Saturday night, mainly before 1 a.m. partly cloudy low around 62 east southeast winds 5 to 10 miles prior becoming west northwest after midnight sunday sunny high near 89 degrees north northwest winds 5 to 10 miles prior becoming south southeast in the afternoon hours sunday night a 40 percent chance of showers and thunderstorms before 1 a.m partly cloudy low around 62 south southeast winds 5 to 15 miles per hour then mostly sunny on monday high High near 90, south winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Monday night, a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms before 1 a.m., partly cloudy, low around 63. Then for Tuesday, the 4th of July, sunny, high near 94 degrees. South-southwest winds between 10 and 15 miles per hour. 
Tuesday night, partly cloudy, low around 67. So they've had some rain chances in our forecast over the past two days for uh, the 4th of July evening, but none in the one as of 2 p.m. this Friday afternoon. Then looking at Wednesday, July 5th, sunny, high near 95 degrees, a slight chance of showers and thunderstorms Wednesday night, partly cloudy, low around 65. Thursday next week, sunny, high near 92. And that's our weather forecast for the Muleshoe area for the next seven days. So keep your fingers crossed as we have our best rain chances this evening, but decent rain chances all the way through Sunday night. Slight chance of Monday night. No rain chances uh, for the 4th of July on Tuesday, but then rain, rain, slight rain chances Wednesday night as well next week. If you'd like to sponsor our weather forecast, I put lots and lots of work into it. Uh, call us, 806-566-5881, and uh, we can fix you up a sponsorship on our meal train news for our, our uh, weather forecast. We'll be back with more Mule Train news in just a few moments, so please stay tuned. This edition of the Mule Train is brought to you today by Leal's Mexican Restaurant. Here in Mule Shoe at the original Leal's 1010 West American Boulevard, they have a new bar with a bar menu that includes domestic beers priced very affordably, including Coors for $350, Miller Lite $350, Bud Light $375, Budweiser $375, Michelob Ultra $350, and Shinerbach three seventy five in their import beer menu. Corona is four dollars. Tecate is two seventy five. Modelo four dollars. Modelo is special four dollars. Dos Equis is four dollars. Pacifico four twenty five. Victoria is four twenty five. Corona Premier is four dollars on their mixed drinks. The Sangria Swirl. Marked at nine dollars now. Beer Rita's eleven fifty. Sangria eight dollars. Sangria wine eight dollars. Strawberry margaritas, frozen or on the rocks eight fifty. Mango margarita, frozen or on the rocks eight fifty. House margarita, frozen or on the rocks only eight dollars. And the Micheladas with any beer is eight fifty. That's the brand new bar menu available now when they're open at Leal's Mexican Restaurant, ten ten West American Boulevard. Victor, Debbie, Angelique, and all their employees say come down and try their new bar menu available now at Leal's, the original Leal's, right here in Muleshoe, ten ten West American Boulevard. Don't forget, every Saturday evening they have drink and food specials at Leal's Mexican Restaurant, along with live entertainment. That's every Saturday evening at the original Leal's 1010 West American Boulevard, right here in Mule Shoe. Get vaccinated, Texas, for you, your family, your community, and for your country, reminds you, reminds the Mule Shoe Area Medical Center. Also, they say continue your recovery close to home with their Mule Shoe Area Medical Center swing bed program. If you or a loved one needs more time to heal after an illness, injury, or surgery, their swing bed program can help. Call the swing bed coordinator at 806-272-4524 or go to their website, Mule Shoe hospital.com backslash recovery for more information the mule sherry medical center right here in mule texas well i was gone for a, a long weekend up to the denver area and we did a respite care with the parkview nursing care center where mom stayed uh, there thursday friday saturday and sunday nights picked her up monday evening thanks to the parkview that was a very nice program and she was well taken care of saw a lot of old friends there at the parkview nursing care center but when we got home monday evening late uh, we had a lot of electrical problems going on in the house and thanks so much to Precure Electric who came out first thing Tuesday morning and then later Excel Energy. They finally got our power fixed to us uh, Tuesday afternoon but boy we had lots of problems getting everything back up and running and set uh, after that but we finally got that done last night. We haven't been taking our normal weather readings and uh, sharing them on our Twitter feed like we do uh, every morning around 7 a.m. But we'll start that back up tomorrow 
on Saturday, uh, July the 1st. So look for those weather readings from our National Weather Service station here in our backyard starting up on Saturday morning. But thanks so much to everyone who helped out while I got away. Uh, we had lots of people go by and visit mom, including her cousin Pam and Ruth Hall, Carolyn Johnson, and others. Well, next week, of course, the 4th of July is on Tuesday, and all of the celebration will happen on that Tuesday here in the Muleshoe area, beginning with the parade that morning down Main Street. Muleshoe will be there to uh, film all the, of the day's major events, brought to you by Barrett Potato Farms, Burton Service Center, Five Area Telephone, West Plains Telecommunications, Dell Oil Company, High Tech Automotive, Irrigation Pumps and Power Incorporated, Leal's Tortilla Factory, McCormick Seeds, Muleshoe Animal Clinic and Vet Supply, Randall Field CPA, WTG Fuels, Muleshoe Area Medical Center, Muleshoe Housing Authority, Triple S Auto Glass, Precure Electric, Mohawk Auto Parts, Muleshoe ISD, Shipman's Body Shop and Autoplex, Bailey County Electric Cooperative Association, and McDonald's Restaurant. You can see all of those ads rotating, wishing you and your family and friends a very happy and safe 4th of July Independence Day, celebrating next week on Tuesday. July the 4th and on Wednesday, July the 5th, join us at MuleshoeTV.com along with our two Facebook pages, Gil Lamb Channel 6 Muleshoe, our YouTube channel, Gil Lamb Advertising, and our Twitter feed, uh, which is Channel 6 Muleshoe. We'll have all of the video highlights, probably over an hour to an hour and a half of all the festivities that will take place here in Muleshoe on Tuesday including starting that morning with the parade down Main Street and ending up with the fireworks at Dart 30 in the Muleshoe New City Park. Make sure and join the Baylor County Senior Center, 319 South Main Street. That's the corner of Main and Avenue D as they'll be holding their 19th annual 4th of July barbecue brisket meal on the 4th. That's Tuesday, July the 4th, next week, 11 a.m. until 2 p.m. It's $12 per plate. Please come and join them for a delicious brisket dinner and fellowship. Everyone is welcome, so make sure to join the Bailey County Senior Center. It's one of their big fundraisers of the year. It's the 19th annual 4th of July barbecue brisket meal going on at Main and Avenue D. On the 4th of July, Tuesday, July 4th, next week, 11 a.m. till 2 p.m., it's $12 per plate. Everyone in the entire area is welcome. Well, in addition to the 4th of July barbecue brisket meal next week at the Senior Center, on Monday they will be serving the, a cheeseburger with bun, potato wedges, tomato wedge salad, and a melon medley. Then, of course, Tuesday next week on July 4th, they'll be having their barbecue brisket meal. Then on Wednesday, July 5th, they'll be serving at the noontime. That begins about 11.30. Chicken fried steak, mashed potatoes, country gravy, stewed okra, seasoned corn, and a pumpkin square. Thursday, July 6th, taco salad and corn chips, seasoned corn, watermelon, and a peach cobbler. On Friday, July 7th next week, Fish or chicken strips, baracho beans, green peas, tossed vegetable salad, low-cal French dressing, whole wheat roll, and a tropical fruit mix. That's all on the menu next week at the Bailey County Senior Center. Meal begins about 1130 at Main and Avenue D. Well, it's been a little slow through the month of June, but we do have... Of course, every Sunday live stream from the First Baptist Church available on our website, MuleshoeTV.com, along with the delayed broadcast from the Calvary Baptist Church and the message by Brother Jeff Kaufman and the Muleshoe Methodist Church and the message by, uh, by David Maccabee. That's available for every Sunday uh, on our website, free of charge, on demand, along with the 
June Mealshoe City Council meeting from June 19th. That's available on the front page of our website, along with our Meet Your Neighbor brought to you by United Supermarkets program from June, which was the Youth Fishing Day held, uh, sponsored by the City of Mealshoe and the Texas Junior Anglers at the uh, Mealshoe Lake Mealshoe at the New City Park. That's always a lot of fun. The Memorial Day service from May which is the Memorial Day service, a real good service that was held out at the uh, Bailey County Cemetery, sponsored by the Bailey County Cemetery Association. And then, of course, the live stream from the 2023 class of Muleshoe High School and their commencement ceremonies that was held mid-May at the Benny Douglas Football Stadium. Actually, it was on May the 20th. Of course, all of our May end of the school year programming is still available. You can find a paragraph with links to each one of those, including the end of the school year faculty meeting where they named the teachers of the year and the staff member of the year. The 2023 MHS Prom, MHS Academic Awards Program, and the naming of the Valedictorian Salutatorian, the Hasselhoff Twins. Watch the Dillman Elementary Pre-K and Kindergarten Graduation Programs, along with their award programs, first and second grade award programs. The... Uh, the Watson Junior High Academic Award Program, MHS Senior Class Walk Through the Halls of Dillman along with the Kindergarten Class, and then, of course, the 2023 MHS Athletic Banquet, and also the 2023 Fine Arts Festival, and then our interview and video we made at the 1st of May celebrating 50 years of, of business here in Milshu for Dell oil company all that's available on our website free of charge on demand muleshootv.com well on your prayer list today please remember robert johnson and uh jerry bruton keep mom megan reynolds always on your prayer list she's under hospice care here at the house Carrie and Pat Moore, new residents at the Park View. Lewis Wayne and Wanda Schaefer, also at the Park View. Pee Wee Estrada, Cleta Robertson, Cyrus Dell. Remember Tom and Linda Watson, Gabby Stone and Tina Costilla, Julie Cage, Bertha and Larry Combs. Terry Byers, Norris Conklin, who's in Clovis in a nursing facility. Keep, Ty keep Tyrone Clemens on your prayer list today. Olivia Barrera, Cliff Black. John Blackwell, Rowena Myers needs to be on your prayer list today. Janice Snell, Ruby Green, Doris Scott, Marjorie Morgan. Also continue to remember those family members and friends who have recently lost a loved one, which includes the family of Carol Ellis, and the family and friends of Michael Smith, family of Rod Springfield, the family of Martin Martinez needs to remain on your prayer list today, the family of Rose Nichols, the family of Pam Flores, and the family of Balti Orozco. Well, it's just about time for us to go on this edition of the Mule Train News, brought to you today by Leal's Mexican ah, Restaurant. You can hear our latest Mule Train News program free of charge on demand on our website, muleshootv.com, or listen to a decade's worth of old archive ones free of charge. Click on the Mule Train News link at the top center of the page, muleshootv.com. I'm Tumbleweed Smith, a play for horse lovers and others. Details in a moment on The Sound of Texas. The Sound of Texas is brought to you here on MuleshoeTV.com by Bailey County Electric Cooperative Association with offices in Muleshoe at 610 East American Boulevard as well as in Morton at 1744 State Highway 114. They're celebrating rural electrification right here in the Muleshoe area through Bailey County Electric since 1939. They're owned by the members that they serve. Call 806-272-4504. Check them out online at BCEC. COOP.com, the board of directors, the members, the employees, the manager, CEO, David Markle, all hope you enjoy this Sound of Texas with Tumbleweed Smith.
a trio of professional horse trainers, two with doctor's degrees, one with a master's, has written a play with a long title. Two old cowboys talking at the best little horse house in Texas. It's clean. It's a parody of caricatures that we've all known. That's Dr. Michael Johnson of Commerce, considered an expert on horse behavior. He has written books on the subject. He wrote the play with his friend Greg Dial of Blanco. The third cast member is Dr. Mary Marzak of LaGrange, a veterinarian. We were going to do this, and if it bombed, we were never going to do it again. It didn't bomb. Obviously, it's about horses, but it has a general appeal. I thought when I started that I was going to tell this unique story about growing up on a ranch and make people laugh. I was so wrong. It did make people laugh, but not because it was a unique story, because it was a universal story. One of Michael's characters is a teenager. This kid jumps on stage with it. Jimmy Joe Jones, that's me. 18 years old, knows everything in the world. There ain't nothing you can tell him. And everybody in the audience knows who he is because they either were one or they raised one. He also plays a crook named Bronco Bill. And I say, what can I do for you, darling? I just anything you need, I'll do it for you. And it'll be real cheap and very effective, guaranteed success, because we guarantee that we can train your horse. And if we can't, he's an idiot. You need to get rid of him. One of the first times the play was presented was at Fort Griffin State Park near Albany. Before we were going to go on, I had a sinking spell. Not nervousness, but I thought, this is not funny. It's short and trite. And I was wrong. They really liked it because they recognized all the characters. They've gone through the same things. I said, was the reason it was so well received is because all those people there were pretty skilled horsemen? Or did they like it because it was like greater tuna? I thought it was because we were speaking to our tribe. I kind of think that anymore. I kind of think it has some strange appeal. Dr. Michael Johnson of Commerce. I'm Tumbleweed Smith with The Sound of Texas.